Welcome to Let's Find Out with a Life Battle Truth. In this short video, I'll be sharing with you God's requirement for you and I. Welcome to Let's Find Out with a Life Battle Truth. Today's episode 23, let's find out about God's holiness. Holiness is something seldom talked about in the churches today. Most preachers today will tell you, we are all going to heaven anyhow. They say, you need not worry yourself about don'ts and do's, rules and regulations, as long as Jesus Christ has died and you accept him as your Lord and personal Savior. We go to heaven anyhow. They conclude, since God is love, he will love everyone at the end and take us all to heaven. Anyhow we live, no matter how we live. Yes. Our God is a loving God. That's why He sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us, that He might ransom us from this world of sin and take us to heaven. But God and His dwelling place are holy. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see God. In Leviticus 19 verse 2, Ye shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. God requires that you and I be holy. And holiness is not rapture. It is an entire surrender of the will to God. It is living by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. It is doing the will of our Heavenly Father. It is trusting God in trials, in darkness, as well as in the light. It is walking by faith and not by sight. It is relying on God with unquestioning confidence and resting in His love. The Bible says without these qualities in us, we shall not see God. So God calls us, if we are aiming to live with Him in His holy heaven, we must be holy today. Full of peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see God. Do you want to see God? Then be holy. Remember, to be holy is to follow what the Bible says. I am God's time is so good. For let's find out with a light by the truth.